Have we heard back from the troops we sent to help the Greeks? Yes, my queen. They have arrived and are defending Sikyos. They say the Atlantean army is outside the city, but they are not attacking. Queen Amanra! Arkantos! I have come to warn you. You are about to be attacked by the Atlanteans. Our troops have already met them in Greece. Not in Greece, here. With your army away defending the Greeks, the Atlanteans have decided to attack you where you are now, undefended, at home. We must prepare. The Atlanteans want to teach you a lesson for standing against them. They will attempt to take the four relics you keep in these lands as a sign of their dominance. Stop them. We don't have much time. The Atlanteans will be here soon. All right. This is a bit of a crazy mission. Before ancient relics in these lands grant great blessings upon these people. We must capture them all. So, this is definitely one of the uh, crazier missions. However, we have our tips, we have our tricks. And I'm going to showcase some of you. to the heroic aids and have no god powers until we capture the relics in these lands. So, this dock in from Orange is going to cause us nothing but problems. We may want to protect this ancient temple of Kronos by putting some walls around it. So we're going to do a cheeky cheeky and as it's building, we're going to drop and kill. Kill the villager, kill the dock. Boom bish bash bosh. Get out. Daylight robbery. Committed. I don't have to deal with ships this entire mission now because of that cheeky little tactic. And it's a uh, it's a game changer because they will constantly drop you with Leviathans and all sorts um, later on in the game and it is very annoying to deal with. It's not the only thing they do, but it's, uh, it's definitely the main thing that they do. Right, we're going to want to start worker production. We're going to have two bases. This is a macro mission. There's no way to cheese the mission in the traditional sense. It's just you've just got to play like a boss. Because <laughs> it is a hard mission. And um, one thing we are going to do though is we're going to upgrade the boys nice and early on. In fact, let's not build any of those. It's just upgrades. Heroes are so good at dealing with myth units and uh, the enemy's going to chuck some at us. <laughs> Quite a few, in fact. So we're going to be in position to stop that. Definitely want to start a gold production. We want to be able to build this second base ASAP Rocky so that we can um, really ramp up our economy. Uh, we will be taking out Orange first. Orange is the technically the weakest. Red is very well fortified and Yellow is ridiculously well fortified. Purple down here is actually quite easy to take down. Um, but it pulls us this quite ancient far. This Temple of Kronos cannot be time sifted as ordinary buildings can. Quite far from our base, so... We won't be starting there. So this is why we upgraded all the boys to deal with these Sphinx. I think it's the right thing to do. I don't really want to lose my heroes though. If I can help it, lovely. So we're not going to worry about food economy until much later on. Just with the transport ship, I'm just going to do a sense check just to make sure they haven't Look to rebuild. We do need the transport ship, so I'm taking quite a wide berth to make sure I don't get attacked by the Midgold Stronghold. I just want to make sure they haven't rebuilt the dock. I don't think they do, but it's always worth just double checking, making sure. And note that dock is gone. Awesome. There's an argument to be said you could probably commit murder and literally take that down, but with a mud goal stronghold this early on, it's very risky. Perhaps possibly building a behemoth would do that for you. Um, 
Now I'm gonna grab one more over there. Grab this guy. I'm gonna start building up our second base. At this point, we're going to start up our production. Our main army is going to be automatons because it only really costs gold. And also Arcus because, again, it only costs gold and wood. And food is the big problem on this map. It's not easy to obtain. You can build farms, yes, but it's hella expensive and we need to defend early. Okay, so this will be the next area we need to focus. I'm actually going to put him on this island. Build one of these. And I want to build an armory. The reason being, I want to. There is a path that leads to our base, the back of our base. I want to make sure that we're got eyes on. At this point, we can start farm eco. This army, I'm actually going to hold fire with this for a moment, just because I want to start my upgrades nice and early. Upgrades are king. And one other thing I want to build is this, so I can start my eco upgrades as well. In fact, I think the uh, spot I'm looking for is here. Probably build a wall to protect that. We're going from here. To here would help. So at this point, I'm actually going to split up our troops. So we've got all of our archers on one hotkey, all of our melee on another. Perfect. There's no really easy way to actually wall this off. It's probably the best way of doing it. Probably. So I'm going to start our uh, production again on these guys. So we need to build another mana. Number two. Get back onto gold. Beautiful. I don't think I hot keep my armory. Did not. I want to keep an eye on and I can upgrade. In 
fat. This is probably the best one to go for. At this point, I'm actually going to halt production. Main reason I'm looking to uh, bump up my resources. So I want to start doing all the upgrades, basically. I've uh, hotkeyed all the uh, upgrades, so as soon as the earliest one's available, it will start. Okay. So food's the thing we need the most now. We've actually got pretty good wood eco. I'm starting upgrades now, lovely. Once we've done the upgrades, we can start cracking on with uh, units again. Just doing a little sense check. I don't think they rebuild at all, but I don't really particularly want to uh, deal with Leviathans and all that gubbins. Yeah, lovely. Okay. That. So these guys are attacking me next. I'm not quite ready to attack just yet. Starting to be a problem again, so let's go back on that. The enemy will eventually attack our uh, base, so I want to defend that before we move out. Protected. So the reason we're going for automatons, they're pretty tanky, they're pretty cheap, and uh, the other benefit is they are uh, very good at dealing with myth units. Now, yeah, so I'm gonna grab that to increase our unit cap further. I think it's only a matter of time now before they attack this location. Are pretty much done. Oh, I got no money. <laughs> That's what it was. Right. Mm. 
Yeah, interesting. Didn't fancy building a wall then there. Well there then. <laughs> Right, I think we're pretty much ready to rock and roll. Upgrades are basically done. Oh, well, they are done. In fact, at this point, don't need any more villagers. So short gold, so in fact we're actually going to halt production then. Can resume production. Start putting this mission to bed. So the reason why I want two different hotkeys, one is so the all the archers can basically focus down the myth units and the priests and all those good stuff. Whilst the team one, which is all the melees, can take down all the buildings. We may need to uh, pull back depending on uh, whether the enemy decides to attack our main base or our island base. But we've got walls which should buy us time and we've taken the upgrades as well. Let's make them more resistant. You also have a rally at home so that should definitely help. Since heroes are really good at myth units, but not the best at taking on normal units, we're going to be taking down the Midgold Stronghold first. Got an army here as well, we'll upgrade these boys. So we do need some more melees at this point. Way too many archers, unfortunately. Okay. 
G. Oh, you not. Okay. Most into. Mark. Okay. Skull is the problem. These boys over there. Alright, let's deal with their attack first. Deal with this. And population limit is the uh, big problem I have. Literally got so much income, <laughs> it's insane. In fact, the one thing I don't have much of is Morocco's. I might need to kill some of these archers, actually, I got way too many. I got 42, yeah, that's it. Over. over the top. I need more melee. 26 is fine. Much taken care of at this point. Found the relic. Now return to the Temple of Kronos with it. They ain't killing that. Return the ancient relic to the temple. All right, that is officially orange gone. Purple next. Mm. 
We have gained Earthquake! We have captured the first relic, and a great blessing has been bestowed on us. Hang on, the dirt was gone. This is why pink is so easy. It's just like just a very easy kill. <laughs> Sands, beasts of set. Now, red. Finish off with yellow. Just putting on a separate control group it makes my life a hell of a lot easier. Trying to keep track of where they are, we I don't end up pulling them away. Mighty God Power Tornado. So this one is a very much a, a, a dash and grab. We don't need to kill Red. No, we don't need to kill any of them, to be honest. One thing we do want to do, though. Try and lure their uh, army away. We want to fight them, but we don't want to overcommit. We don't need to, quite frankly. And fighting these guys could take a long time because they just have so much stuff. So instead what we're going to do is we're going to take team two. We're just going to run in with our archers. Bang! Peace out boys! to do with red. We've gained the guard power bronze. Now for the final relic. Yellow is arguably the hardest and most well defended. So we're going to be using all of our god powers to take them down. We want to be luring them out first. We got Phoenix, I got all sorts of strong units. Targeting that egg, don't want him to be reborn. And that stops their reinforcements from behind. Be very careful with this. As powerful as that ability is, it's also uh, friendly fire. Is a thing.
Team 1 doesn't want to do that, Team 2 can do all that. Lifting, just... Take unnecessary damage. Not sure why I can't even work my god power, but okay. I'm going to be dropping this right on them. This doesn't do friendly fire, so we don't have to worry about it. Does do damage to the enemy. No idea why I can't use bronze, but okay. Same tactic. Running with the boys. You've got the most health, you can pick it up. You. 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 Probably let that path wide open. Lovely. And that, my friends, is all she wrote. Nice, easy mission. <laughs> Not. <laughs> but it is a. Uh... Guess when you know what you're doing, it's relatively straightforward. GG's. We have been granted the God Power Ancestors at last. We have claimed the fourth relic for Atlantis. Alright. I quite like that mission as well. It's pretty all the all the Titan missions are actually pretty good for the most part. What? Arcantos. They captured the relics. Yes. Take the few troops you have and go to Greece. I cannot leave my people at a time like this, Arcantos. Amonra, the Atlantean troops are being led by my son. Castor? Why would Castor attack us? He is being tricked. You must find him. He led a force like the one here against the Norse homelands and is sailing back to Greece now. Seek him there. Alrighty folks, well that'll right about do it for this mission. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If this is the kind of content you enjoy, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. It does help support the channel and would be greatly appreciated. Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, I shall see you in the next video.